so guys this is the slide that we have designed and in order to learn more what we will do is we will disintegrate this complete slide and see what all components we have used and then we will learn how to design this slide let's first duplicate it so that we have a copy and then create a new layer and add a dark background so that we can see all the elements so this is the text box we have created and you can see it's the font monster at 7 bold and 12 is the font size and we have changed this rotation to left and then this is the layer on the top let's paste this layer here so this is another shape that we have inserted so if you just go to shapes so this is the shape that we used parallelogram and we have filled gradient color in it we have used two stops gradient and the second stop is at 76 percent on the first gradient stop we have kept transparency at 71 percent and on the second we have kept it at 100 percent and that gradient type is linear and the direction is from top to bottom this one linear down if you click on linear up then it will be reversed like this so it's linear down so this is the shape that we have used so what is next then we have this black bar that we have used let's paste it here so that you can see it so it's just a rectangular shape with 56 percent transparency and black is the fill similarly on the right side we have used this white rectangular bar at 23 percent with 23 percent transparency and white color and you can see text behind this rectangular bar due to this transparency so let's pick the next item so this is the text we have used it's pretty easy this is also the text and now this is the main infographic which we have created let's paste it here as well let's remove these items we have already covered these so now if we disintegrate this we have to ungroup first so this is the shape we have created this is a custom shape we have designed and on the outline we have filled gradient line and this is the type of gradient we have used and the width of the line is 18.25 points that's the width of this line and we have used this metallic gradient with seven gradient stops three on the left three on the right and one in the middle the gradient type is linear from left to right this one linear right and this is another rectangle we have used and this is just for aesthetic purpose and we have filled this pattern on this rectangle so this these two components we have covered let's remove these components now next comes this main infographic let's change the background color so it is visible yeah now ungroup all these items so let's remove these other shapes because all have the same formatting ungroup and see what we have here this is one shape and ungroup this one so this is the text box and this is the shadow layer we have used here so and this is another reflection layer this is a the rectangle this is the text this is a icon which we have used and 
this is the hexagon and we have filled gradient colors on these two shapes and gradient black on this shape to create this shadow effect because once we will place the shadow here and use this shape here then it gives that depth effect that's smart work we have done so by merging all these components we can create this single shape and then we just duplicate and change the text and color so i hope you have understood the about all the components we have used in this slide so let's learn how to design this video and i have already placed these metallic gradients here so that we can just copy paste the color using eyedropper tool so you need to insert this rectangular shape and start filling the colors from this color palette at the top so you need to insert these gradients and you need these six gradient stops and i guess five are required so we can remove one yep so we can keep the gradient stops towards the left and then pick the colors from the color palette at the top and fill color in each gradient stop let's add one more gradient stop because there is this light color and this gives a very nice metallic glossy look so our shape is ready remove the outline and then du duplicate this shape and now we're gonna fill the colors from the second palette that we have placed so this eyedropper tool is amazing it saves lots of a time and you just need to pick any color you want and this also makes it very easy to design a slide just select the shape and then with the help of eyedropper just select the color and it will be automatically filled and similarly you can design the other three rectangular shapes as well now go to shape format and align these perfectly now go to insert and insert a rectangular shape like this and then join it with the shape that we have created this beautiful shape and remove the outline and fill gradient color in the shape and just use format painter and simply fill the same color scheme that we have used in this rectangular cylindrical shape at the left it's actually a rectangle but due to its color scheme it looks cylindrical now again insert this smaller rectangle and we will use this for a shadow effect then fill a linear gradient which is from left to right linear right and fill transparency on the first gradient stop and on the second you can keep it like 100 percent and this will give a nice depth effect this shadow and it looks very realistic Now let's use this hexagon
remove its outline and apply shadow effect and we will fill a nice gradient transparent color in it apply the shadow effect on this rectangular shape as well now just duplicate this rectangular shape and reduce its height fill solid remove shadow effect and you can place it here and increase the transparency and you will see this nice glossy look of this shape now bring this hexagon to the front similarly this shadow effect to the front and you can further adjust the transparency levels to see how it looks I think this is fine now let's give some treatment to this hexagon so we have filled black color on both the gradient stops and with the help of transparency now it looks fine now select all these components and you can group these together just duplicate and we only need to use format painter to fill the color on this rectangular bar and rest everything is settled again duplicate and place it here use the format painter tool and change its color So this is a smart way of creating a design. The steps are same. And this is the last one. So all the shapes are ready and you can group these together and now some finishing is required and on these shadow effects that we have created adjust the transparency levels as per the requirement I think currently it's too dark and I'm making it lighter So the design looks very colorful so if you want a less colorful design what you can do is you can keep the gradient fills on these left cylindrical shapes and make these bars gray or white that will also look very good in case you want a minim minimalistic design then you can follow that approach otherwise this looks amazing and now you, you need to create a placeholder for the text and now it depends upon the type of text you are using the style of text and the content is it text or number and how how you want to place the text so currently we are using this style where we are keeping this heading on the left and description on the right and we will also use some numericals to number these steps So like A, B, C, D, E, or you can also number them numerically like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are using our favorite font, monster at black or semi bold. Increase the font size and place it here. Change the color to white. and fill gradient color in the text box 
uh, on both the gradient stops fill white color but on the second one you need to fill the gray color and move both the gradient stops to the middle like 50 or 51 percent and you can see the impact on the text here you will see this line in the middle that's because of this gradient fill now duplicate this text box and here you can change the content so we are writing this dummy description and you can of course change it so if you know how to do the text and you understand how to place the text adjust and how to format you can skip this part and move to the next part so delete this extra portion because the description should be small and you can place the description here select all these three text elements align to the middle group and duplicate and add the second grouped item over this second layer and change the text here and repeat the steps and keep on changing the text you can always follow the guides which appear automatically whenever you move the item now it's time for some alignment so align middle select all the items and align middle and do it for all these rows so now all the elements are aligned and we can do one more alignment test here let's align to the left now it's perfect everything is well aligned now it's time for icons so we are using these existing pre-built icons the icons are slightly bigger so we have reduce their height and width and place all these icons over these hexagons and make sure the icons are at the center of this hexagon and you can always use the alignment option change the color to white and increase the transparency of these icons so that it blends well with the background now you need to adjust these at the center so I'm using these automatic guides which appear when whenever you place the element or move any element over the screen but you can also use the alignment option as well align center so everything is well aligned everything is at its place now just group all these items together And the shortcut for grouping is Ctrl plus G. So we have grouped all the rows here and now we need to create the left portion of this infographic by using this rounded rectangle. Make it completely rounded and remove its fill. We only need its line, pick gradient line here. We need six to seven gradient stops and make sure its width is above 18 points so we have used seven gradient stops so let's use this metallic gradient palette which i have placed and with the help of eyedropper pick the colors and fill in each gradient stop make sure you fill the color or pick the color from left to right on this palette
and meanwhile if you are watching this video and if you haven't subscribed i would request you to please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like and share this video now change the gradient type to linear and we will use this left to right gradient stop and let's experiment with this gradient stops with the gradient stops here let's move them left to right and see the result on the shape let's move these gradient stops left to right and you can see the change in color the flow of gradient it looks very metallic now and let's move it to back slightly increase the height and now you can see the infographic is looking beautiful at the moment so here we can do some alignment to make sure everything is at the middle now insert this another rectangular shape and we will fill a black pattern go to pattern fill and from here you can pick any pattern you want but i like this one and let's pick a dark background and a grayish foreground and you can match it with the width of the background shape this gives a very carbon fiber look so it always looks good you can always think of these amazing concepts and styles and try to include elements from the real world now we need a background image here go to insert stock images and from here we will fill a nice background so you have to imagine this visual with the background and then you can identify a nice image here to make sure you have to make sure that it will look good or you can try different images until you decide upon any single image So this looks good because it matches with our hexagons that we have on this infographic and you can see the hexagons in the images as well in the background image i mean now insert this rectangular bar and send to back remove its outline and fill white color slightly increase the transparency now duplicate this bar and place this one on the left i think it will look good on at the extreme left but it's but it it's always good to experiment and see how everything is appearing on the screen so bring this infographic element to the front so that these rectangular bars can be at the background i thought that this metallic color will look good and we can do something about it like this or we can this we can place this metallic pipe here but i guess i have to stick to my original plan to keep a rectangular bar at the left because this is not looking that great so go to insert and let's see what we can do with it
and pick this rectangular bar then place one on the left remove its outline and fill black color increase the transparency remove its outline and we will send it to back and we've also removed that pipe because that pipe wasn't looking good actually it wasn't fitting in this complete scheme of things somehow now let's add some text here because the design is almost done and it looks beautiful to me if it looks good to you as well just press that red subscribe button and download this beautiful slide from the G drive link and it's free to use you can use it for your projects as long as you are not selling it now I add the slide title here so again we are using monster at font But this title depends upon the template you are using or if you are using some official template from your company that must be having a predefined header and footer in that case you need to adjust the height and width of this complete slide so that it fits uh, inside that template So here we are doing some finishing and this white looks good so you can reduce the transparency and here you can also add some text if you have if you want to showcase some kind of a small summary about this complete infographic what you are showing here or some number or something just a couple of lines or few keywords so that will look good. And you can always stylize the text you can always color important keywords in a text some numbers you can increase the width or height of the certain text you want to highlight and you can also change the orientation like from bold to italics so you have so many options you can try and in the end you can see how it looks so if everything looks good then you can finalize it and always ensure that whenever you set the font size just you know review it on a slideshow mode if is it visible then it's fine if it is not and you're finding it difficult to read just increase the font size so here we have placed the text now aligned to the left so this part is also done and you can group once everything is set then you can place it at the center so we have further reduced the transparency Now let's add some text on the left which is a very important message so here we have written subscribe like and share so rotate it left 90 degrees and you can place it at the middle so the slide design is almost complete one last step because that will enhance the beauty of this slide which is the reflection of the light so use this parallelogram remove any outline fill gradient fill and the direction should be from top to bottom linear down 
this one the second one and fill white color on both the gradient stops and you can reduce the transparency and this is how it will look So guys i hope you liked it i know it it is a lengthy tutorial but it will certainly help you in your powerpoint designs and you know most of the deals in the world are closed with the help of a presentation so enjoy this final output and please subscribe to our channel we need to reach 200 000 subscribers and you can help us achieve that and do not forget to download this from the link provided in the video description and keep liking sharing watching our videos and we will see you guys in our next video till then enjoy